Hi everyone, in this video we will go over your closing procedure that you should follow at the end of every production day. First press the maintenance button. The printer carriage will move back and forth for a while. Once the printer carriage stops moving, manually move the printer carriage to the center of the machine. You will need to apply a bit of force to get it moving initially. Once here, get some Neotex cleaning solution. Pour it into a small cup and use it to dip your cleaning swab. Now look inside the printer, on the right side you will see the capping station. Use the damp cleaning swab to clean in and around the area to remove any excess ink buildup. Next you will need to clean the wiper blade. The wiper blade must be cleaned extremely well, as this is the physical part that is making direct contact with the print head face and wipes it down. To access the wiper blade, put it up with your finger using this small notch, and once the wiper blade is elevated through, push the wiper blade upwards to get into place. You can also pull the plastic unit to the right to make the process easier. Once out, use a swab initially to remove any large pieces of gunk. Then wet a lint-free cloth with a cleaning solution and vigorously wipe down the wiper blade until you don't see any more ink on it. Make sure not to apply too much pressure though to prevent anything from breaking. Once you've cleaned the wiper blade, push it back downward back into its idle position. Take a look at the print head from the front opening of the printer. You will have to use the swab and cleaning solution to clean the outer edges of the print head without touching the face of the print head. As reference, this is what you are seeing from the front of the printer. You would want to clean this outer edge while making sure not to touch the main face plate. Take the swab and dip in some cleaning solution, then go ahead and clean the print head. Now look on the left side of the printer. This area is called the spit station. Ink will gather up here over time. If your printer did not come with this sponge, please purchase it from our website and insert it here. At the end of the day, you want to check if there is ink puddling up on top of the sponge. At that point, you want to carefully remove the sponge, wash it under warm water, then place it back into the spit station. Now take your syringe and remove about 1 milliliter of ink from the waste tube. This will clear the capping station. Next take a clean syringe and fill it up with some cleaning solution. Head over to the capping station and fill it up all the way up to the edge. At this point, go ahead and press the maintenance button again and wait for the printer carriage to settle back into the capping station. Once the blinking light becomes solid, you may turn the power off from the front first once off, then press the switch on the back side to completely shut off power. This will turn off the auto white circulation, but don't worry, the nozzles will not clog if the printer is left off for a few days. But if you plan on having the printer off more than a week, you must perform the long-term maintenance procedure. The last part of the closing procedure is to close the paper tray. Close the top clear cover, close the ink bay cover, and lastly, purchase an equipment cover or find something similar to cover the entire printer while not in use. This will prevent dust from accumulating inside the printer, which can cause clogging to occur more easily. Alright, that is it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.